ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me again. I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys something that you're probably either going to love or hate right from the beginning before you even hear the review, you're already going to have an opinion on it. Uh, and that's because this is going to make the ninth film in this franchise. I'm talking about none other than Spiral, which is from the Book of Saul. And Saul has eight uh, previous films, uh, starting with 2004. And for those of you who know nothing about it, but you probably will, like I said, it's been around since 2004. This is the ninth film. Um, it, it started off an uh, entire genre of these type of films when it first came out. Um, basic plot is there's this serial killer what he does is if he feels like you're a bad person, uh, similar somewhat to the show Dexter and Dexter has a serial killer who only kills other serial killers. Um, but this serial killer, he captures people who he believes have done misdeeds and then he puts them in some type, he traps them in some type of device where they can get out and live, but you know, they're going to have to go through some pain perhaps losing a limb or, you know, just something painful to get out of it. For example, you know, they might be caught in a bear trap and the room is filling with toxic gas and to get out of it, they're going to have to cut off their foot, you know, something like that. And, you know, you can just imagine eight films of this. Um, but for me personally, like I said, you, you, if you're debating going to see this film, you're probably going to have seen others in the franchise. Uh, but for me personally, I liked, really, really enjoyed um, the first few films in the Saw franchise. And then I thought that, you know, they started to go downhill. You know, some were better than others. But this one was supposed to take it in, you know, a little bit of a new direction. Uh, you've got a fresh new cast. Um fresh new uh, antagonist and, you know, kind of a, a different look at things. Uh, so it stars Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson. Uh, so pretty good lineup there if you like those two actors. And it's got a 36% score on Rotten Tomatoes uh, by the critics, but 75% score by the audience. And I've said this before about plenty of other films, but I think it really holds true here is the reason why there's such a discrepancy is the people who are going to see this, the fans who are going to see this film, you know, they know what they're getting into. And my rating right off the bat, I gave it a seven out of 10 uh, because at this point, if you're going to see a Saw movie, um, you're going to see the different type of traps that these people, you know, get put into. And after seeing, like I said, I, I've seen all the other Saw films and after seeing, you know, pretty much a lot of inventive types of traps and things of that nature you know you, you you've really got to be you know digging deep into the bag of tricks to find something that's still inventive you know to satisfy fans and then especially horror fans uh, and i think that you know they did that you know some of the um deaths in the film i thought were you know pretty inventive and you know enjoyable is a not, I wouldn't say the right word to use here, but, you know, entertaining, you know, they were entertaining to see. And so that's what I think, you know, what most of the fans are, are why it's got 75% uh, positive scores. That said, um, the plot is, I, I think, is a, a bit predictable. And then the ending leaves something to be desired. Um, they're not really scratching new ground here. You know, you're not going to see this film and be like, okay, yeah, that story you know th this really hooked me back into it in the way that the other films hadn't or you know wow i wasn't expecting that you know the saw franchise you kind of get used to you know the twists and turns you know you kind of expect those and like i say and then the gory death sequences you expect those so it didn't really break new ground there but as far as it doing you know what you expected that type of film to do uh, i'd say it delivered on that and the one thing that I would say that it did deliver that um, some of the other ones ne didn't necessarily, and I think this is due to the inclusion of Chris Rock, is there were several 
scenes that I thought were particularly funny. Um, and even I saw it in theaters and, you know, had the crowd laughing as well. Um, you know, some of them were hit or miss. You know, I can easily find uh, some people, you know, if you didn't think those things were funny, that you would find it distracting or taken away from the overall, you know, vibe of the movie. But I thought it was a pretty good blend, you know, to have those type of scenes in there. You know, this is no longer a film, like, like I'd say, in stark contrast to, you know, maybe the first few, first few films in the Saw franchise. We're not really taking it that seriously anymore. It's, you know, a movie we come to expect cheesy deaths. And like I say, and then different plot twists and turns. And we don't expect it all, you know, to follow 100% logic. And, you know, the characters to do things that people would do in real life. Um, so to have that inclusion of humor, you know, I, I thought it added to the film. Uh, I enjoyed it. So I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. That's all I've got to say about this one. If you're a big horror fan, if you're a fan of the Saw franchise, I think you enjoy this one. Once again, it's nothing to write home about. Uh, but, uh, you know, if gore is your thing, if horror is your thing, um, you want to be entertained, uh, it'll definitely entertain you. Uh, so 7 out of 10, that's my score. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, leave me a comment. Please be sure to like and subscribe. That really helps me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.